All right, so I've got the previous project that we started with in the last episode open right now. And if you don't know how we got here, please check out the first episode uh, where we created this project. In this video, I'm going to go over the Xcode interface with you guys. And to be honest, I don't even know everything about Xcode, but I'm going to go through some of the common features that uh, I used most day to day in my programming. So at a glance, uh, this is your code editor window right here in the middle. Uh, this on the left hand side is your file tree so you can see all the files with your project and if you ever need to add files to your project um, you can just right click in the folder and you can either add existing files or you can choose a new code file that you want to add uh, if you want to create new folders, which is really handy to organize your project, you can do something like this where you choose new group and then you can type, you know, something like the new controllers, whatever you want to do to organize uh, your project. And we'll go over that as well. Uh, what are some best practices in terms of ordering your files, just so it's not a mess for the person uh, who's also working with you on this project. You've got some little tabs up here on the left hand window and this one I use a lot. This one is just searching for anything. Uh, oftentimes you'll want to look for some uh, some keyword or some snippet so you can type in something like for example I see Abdelicate there and it's going to tell you all the files in your project which contain you know your search key right there and tapping that will just open that file. Now if you guys, any of you guys coming from Visual Studio and the Microsoft uh, side, you're going to be used to double clicking uh, to open a file. Uh, I struggled with that at first, but if you do that here, you're actually going to open it in a brand new window, which most cases you, you're not intending to do. Um, this is useful if you want to you know, put this on an external monitor and uh, you know, have two code windows open. But for the most part, clicking it once will, will bring you to the file. Uh, in this pane right here, you're going to see all the warnings and the errors when you build your project. And this is your, you'll see all your breakpoints here. So just quickly, to set breakpoints in your project, you would just click on the side there. And for those of you who are just starting out programming, uh, essentially what breakpoints are, is that it's going to stop the execution of code at that point uh, and that will allow you to check things like variables and um, and it also allows you to step through your code step by step uh, so that you can make sure that it's doing what you're expecting it to do and up here in the upper left hand corner uh, this button we ran we we clicked last time to run our project and it's basically going to launch the simulator but you see that little arrow there if you hold it you can actually do several different things here and we can get into those options uh, in the future but for now let's move on so the stop button here will stop the execution of your app and bring you back into Xcode and if you've got different simulators, you can actually choose them here. So for example, I can choose to run this as an iPad app and we can see what that would look like or an iPhone. And if you have different uh, SDKs installed, for example, like iOS 5 or 4.3, you'd be able to choose it and test it on those uh, OSs here. This is a big general toggle for all of your breakpoints in your app and sorry in your project one thing we didn't go through is actually if you set a breakpoint like so you see that blue arrow there if you want to disable a single breakpoint you can tap it and you can see it gets dimmed out or you can actually just pull it off and it'll blow up in a puff of smoke okay so these two arrows these things are useful so it basically acts like a back button like you would expect in your browser it allows you to go backwards through the files that you've been visiting and forwards this thing right here is almost like a breadcrumb of uh, 
what the file you're looking at. So essentially, you could very quickly jump to different files like this. And up here in the upper right hand corner, you see this little tuxedo icon. What that will actually do is open up an assistant editor and it basically opens up the corresponding file that's related to the file that you're looking at. So for example, if I'm looking at the viewcontroller.m, it's going to open up viewcontroller.h. And that's very helpful because sometimes you want to reference what sorts of properties and variables you've uh, and method signatures you've declared in your header file while you're working in your uh, implementation file and this just helps you you know if I were in my single view this helps you not have to switch between them like so uh, these ones right here will just slide in these panels as you see fit this right hand side here basically gives you more information about the file you're looking at and for the most part if you're working in code this is not so useful but when you're working with storyboards and zips and stuff uh, this panel is will be more useful because you can you can drag elements onto the screen from here and you know, do that kind of stuff so I'm gonna hide that for now this button here, Organizer, is going to be stuff, uh, stuff like provisioning profiles, which we'll get into in the future. And yeah, it opened in another window, but oh, there's some stuff in my organizer that I can't show you sensitive information from work, so I'm going to close that. I'll show you guys in the future video. But basically, what you want to use the organizer for is. Uh, either source repositories, if you're going to check in your code somewhere, uh, managing provisioning profiles, which are important if you're going to be deploying your app onto devices for testing and eventually into the App Store. Uh, what else? For documentation purposes, stuff like that. Down here, you're going to be using this a lot, this little tray down here, which you can pop up and pop down. And this is your uh, debug window or your console window so you're you're gonna be able to uh, basically if you set a breakpoint and you halt execution you're gonna be able to check on the different variables and um, basically debug help debug your app and we'll see how that works in the future so that was your basic introduction to the Xcode interface for those of you guys who have a programming background, this probably makes sense to you, just the environment might be a little unfamiliar. But for those of you guys who don't have any development background or programming experience, the terminology that I've used might go over your head, stuff like breakpoints and header and implementation files and stuff like that. But don't worry, stick with it, and we're you know the more you code, the more you watch, uh, it's all gonna make sense and it's gonna come together for you guys, and you're gonna you're gonna be building really cool apps soon. You know I've seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos out there teaching you how to build your first application, and it's just a series of here, click this, do this, type this, and that's something that I want I want to avoid doing because I want you guys to be able to actually learn and not just follow a bunch of steps uh, because eventually you know I'm teaching you guys how to fish so that you can fish for yourself I'm not just giving you the fish if you guys have heard that parable before um, so there's gonna be a little pain in learning but you're gonna reap the benefits alright so until the next video I'll see you guys soon bye